All right, so thank you very much. You're welcome to the school owners from Nigeria's largest training network of school owners, of teachers, of education stakeholders, of everyone generally. I had said that this meeting is titled uh, Leadership, Attitude, Skills, and Ethics for Teachers. That is the topic. It's a huge one. It's going to be three and a half hours. The class will be broken down into four parts. So we're going to have four parts of 50, 50 minutes. So we're going to be here for 300 minutes. Oh, sorry, sorry, 200 minutes. 200 minutes is three hours and 20 minutes. I think that's not too much. Don't worry. At, at the intervals of 50, 50 minutes, we'll be going for 10 minutes break. And I was introducing the members of the class for today. I had introduced Ronick Schools uh, in Lagos here in Ejibo. And uh, I also introduced Prime Global Schools in Ago, Lagos right there i also introduce uh when i talk when i mention your name just clap where you are don't worry even if you just clap <laughs> and then i introduce the child schools in uh Ikrodu, lagos wonderful people uh only that i have not seen the face of mommy i'm sure maybe she, he stepped out he must she must join us before the end of the class <laughs> all right and then i introduce our comms uh abel kota and i was trying to talk i was also introducing god's purpose god's purpose is uh, God's purpose is one of uh, one of our uh, uh, one of our wonderful school owners in Abe Okuta. I mean, wonderful people. And then our comes, uh, our comes schools. The owner of our comes is our uncle, our uncle in Abe Okuta. The wonderful, wonderful people. And then I moved forward to talk about CIHS. CIHS, please a round of applause for yourselves again where you are. CIHS is a cornerstone independent high school. Somebody is asking me where is CIHS located? CIHS is located in Ilori, Kwara State. Wonderful school, wonderful people, wonderful team, uh, wonderful ICT team also. And then I, I'm going to go forward to talk about, to introduce Roblox. This is Roblox School in Aja, Lagos here, Ibeju. Lekki, thank you very much for joining us. You are wonderful. I, I love the mommy Roblox. Roblox. I think I got that right. Roblox. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Okay. So a round of applause for yourselves. All right. I'm seeing you. Let me let me just see that clap. Thank you very much. That's it. I can hear that. You're welcome. And then this is my admin. Wonderful man. Uh, wonderful tech technical team. I think you should give my technical team also a round of applause because without them, the Mr. Uh, Tosi. Uh, and then we have happiness in the house also. We have uh, Emmanuel also in the house. Wonderful people. They are just represented with this uh, 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 picture you see here. And then here we also have Abba School. Abba, uh, I don't know. I'm not seeing their camera, but no problem. Abba School is in Ikorodu also. Abba School is in Ikorodu, Lagos. And they are also joining the class okay so that is it with the introduction we move swiftly into the class but before we do that we have to pray let us pray father in jesus name we thank you lord for this class we bless your name as we go ahead lord take absolute control uh let us learn that which you want us to do learn this morning uh, let us have give us that retentive memory help us to implement that which we want to learn in the name of jesus thank you lord in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. That's, that's how I do in every class. All right. So let us move very quickly. Leadership, attitude, skills, and ethics. We have worked on this for a while. And then we will continue right now. Now, that is enough uh, preview for those on Facebook. Because what all I've said so far, we have given the people on Facebook 10 minutes. Uh, I think we should give them more so that they will know that... Uh, Something is going on before I cut them off. <laughs> All right. Okay. So leadership attitude skills and ethics. What do we mean by that? What do we mean by that? Now we're gonna be zooming in on a particular uh how do I put it now? Leadership attitude skills and ethics is like a course, it's a whole program. So, yeah, it's a whole program, but today's course is tied to the ind indispensable teacher. Are you getting it now? So, and I did that because I have a whole book. We have a whole book on that, the ind indispensable teacher. You understand? So, 
the 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 cause leadership magic skills and ethics is a whole course it, it's a whole course you may want to go through it maybe after this class we're going to look at uh, other subjects other uh how do i put it now maybe other other courses of <laughs> it's a whole program let me call it a whole program so today's course is uh the indispensable teacher and that's we also have a book on that so in case after the class you may want to pick up that and go through a lot but i'm sure about that by the end of three and a half hours we will have really 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 enjoyed ourselves all right so let me continue very quickly uh into the next point now i'm talking i'm still introducing the class okay so these are other programs other courses in the program we have effective school management okay we have effective school management we have a school transformation experience program we have value booster skills and ethics for for staff we also have the teacher as a school marketer in case you want to attend more other program courses in this program then we also have courses for support staff we have uh, a particular program for for uh parents and then we have the master grant the grand master of them all the four legged school growth strategy is a book and it's also a course so let us continue like that now the first point i want to make in this class if you are looking at the screen i like you to take attention pay attention to that i am telling you this morning that irrespective of your role irrespective of what you are employed for irrespective of your salary amount, irrespective of the title. You know, there are several people in organizations that have title, uh, but, you know, they need to justify the title so that uh, it shows that what, what the title was given for was worth it at the, after all. So irrespective of your role, we are all for, we are all here for school growth. For more sales, you understand, we won't have a job if the school cannot pay. I like you to take note of that, irrespective of what we are, uh, uh, um, what our role is, irrespective of what uh, where we what's on our employment letter. We will not have a job if the school cannot pay. The reason we can, the reason that we are here is because the school can pay. So we won't have a job if the school cannot pay. You understand? So it's important you understand that point, and that's the first point I want to make in this class. Let me go back to this slide so that you see what i'm talking about now irrespective of the role irrespective of our of your role we are all here for school growth for more sales so why are we having this training excuse me we are not having this training because it is fashionable for school owners to train their teachers in the holiday no we are not having this training because your school owner has money to pay for it no we are not having this training because, uh, you know, so that you can feel good that, yes, they are building capacity into you. Absolutely not. We are having this training. Now, the reason we're having this training is because we want to have more sales uh, come resumption. And, you know, the school owner knows that according to the four-legged school growth strategy, four-legged school growth strategy, there are four stakeholders in the school business. One is the school owner. The second are the uh, teachers. The third are the parents while the fourth are not students students are not stakeholders in this business their parents are no student can enroll on their own except the parent enroll them you understand the stakeholder the fourth stakeholders are the i mean are the non-teaching staff of course some of them may be in our midst as we speak but there's a whole training for them so what we are saying is that the moment school resumes the school wants to be able to make more money the school wants to be able to get more sales. And the school knows that without the cooperation of you, the teacher, you the, that that dream will not, uh, uh, that, 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 that vision will not happen. So that is the reason why we are, we are, I hope we have set that straight. You know, every time you want to teach a class, you must set the objective straight. So I'm going to be talking about attitudes. I'm going to be talking about attitudes that teachers need to imbibe that will either stop us from losing sales or help us to get more sales. Okay. All right. So that is all. That is all. That is all I can give the uh, Facebook people for free. Uh, let me continue. I'm saying here that uh, SOF is a platform of never-ending discussion. Our discussions never end. I tell you, our discussion on SOF 
never ends. It's always a continuous discussion. We keep talking and we keep talking. If you enter our platform, you can read and read. And, you know, so it's a continuous discussion. And uh, the aspect of this discussion that, re that concerns the teachers is the one I want to talk about today. The aspects of this discussion are discussions with the school owners, uh, the aspect that concerns the teachers because no school can grow on its own. I said in my prologue, let me show you my prologue. Let me read out my prologue, the prologue to this course. No school can grow on its own. Here, listen to this. You know, the growth of any school is never a single phased approach. You understand? No school can grow or sustain its growth without the full cooperation of its teachers. Most times, the lack of this cooperation from the teachers is more a matter of attitudinal ignorance. You understand? The lack of this cooperation is a matter of attitudinal ignorance than it is of what? Of professionalism. Every teacher has academic qualification and some form of experience. However, the nature of the private school business requires that teachers do more than just teach well. They must behave well. They must relate in the environment, uh, relate well in the environment. They must place more value on themselves than anyone does. So that is a problem we are here to solve. I hope you now understand the reason why we are doing what we are doing right now so that's exactly why we are here we're going to continue very shortly just let me uh, uh so this is all we can give uh to the people who are watching on facebook if you need to join this paid class kindly contact us and uh, and also the people watching on youtube you know this is little we can give uh before we continue into our full class so thank you very much uh, uh we are going to continue right now into the stream of the lecture so now we have uh we have we have looked at uh, what the introduction to our class is. You know, we have looked at what the introduction is, and uh, we will we will now continue from where we have stopped. All right. So let me continue and be, uh, and tell you the next point to be made on my slide. The next point is that running a school. Let me talk about running a school versus running school business. Running a school versus running school business uh and just give me a moment while i take care of one or two issues right here that the worth of your school is the combined worth of your teachers? Do you know that the value of your school is the combined value that your parents have placed on your teachers? Are you having problems with making your teachers cooperate with you and be productive as you would want to be? What you need is our training. We have trained over 10,000 teachers in the last few years and the results have been tremendous. We have two packages. We have the leadership attitude, skills and ethics, which is LACE for teachers and we also have trace teachers reorientation for action capacity and excellence so which of them do you want call